All right, guys, on today's video, we're going to be talking about broke ass beard supply. We've done a couple of videos for them already over the past few years. And today we are specifically going to hone in on their cologne series, uh, which are uh, fragrance blends that are supposed to mimic the actual cologne. There's like 27 or so different scents that are available right now. So tons of stuff to choose from. I think I've got like 10 of them here. So I'm gonna kind of rank them and kind of tell you a little bit about them without going into too much detail because I am not a cologne expert by any means. Uh, but we also have the conditioner and beard wash and then also have a couple of uh, fan favorite scents coming uh, coming at you here in that we've got the brrr scent, which is now available again, one of my all time favorite minty, woodsy minty scents, as you guys know I like. And then there is one ZZZ, that's supposed to be for good for nighttime, and it's a dandy as well. So welcome, my name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. Try to bring some uh, good quality ingredients at you today at affordable prices, which is cool. You don't have to wait around for a sale or anything. Uh, Broke Ass Beard Supply always has a very affordable product. So you can get a one ounce beard oil for $10, is it $10? $10. All right, $13 for a two ounce uh, butter or a two ounce balm, and then uh, 22 for a combo, and then the eight ounce wash or conditioner are $16 each. So uh, very cool, very affordable, and uh, good quality ingredients as well. So on the, uh, the oil blend, it's not just uh, okay, it's cheap, so there's only gonna be like three carrier oils in it. Nope, it's got a really good one. Excellent feeling beard. So it's fractionated coconut, sweet almond, argan, jojoba, castor, aloe, marula, emu, baobab, and vitamin E. And feels good off the bat when I, when I put it in, but it actually starts to shine for me like an hour or so after I put it in. It becomes like super soft and feels that way, that way pretty much the rest of the day. So I don't know if anybody else has ever had some oils like that. I've had a few different companies that's been like that. You put it in and you're just like, oh, okay. And then it just like kicks in and, and 30 minutes to an hour later, even though it doesn't sit on your beard. It's not like it, your beard feels greasy or anything while it's absorbing. So that's interesting, but I uh, always get a good uh, feeling beard from the oil. The butter, I just have a limited experience with. I just have one that's in the burr scent uh, and that one works super well for me. It is super um, creamy. There's no grit in it at all. Works very good. Oh, man, it works very good for me. I'll go ahead and tell you about that scent while I've got it in my hand. So it's just now come back available. It's only available uh, seasonally. So peppermint, tea tree, eucalyptus, and rosemary. I think that's all essential oils. It might not be. Uh, Eric can uh, maybe make a comment down below and let us know, but works really well. Love that one for nighttime. Uh, and then a lot of people like the ZZZ scent for nighttime. And that one is black, amber, and lavender is part of what's called the Anne series, which is like two things. But I had Eric on the channel as I uh, unboxed like the, all of the Ant, one, the Ant series that he's ever done. You can go back and take a look at that if you want. Uh, but there's really more in it than just two things. He kind of sneaks in some other things. So it's kind of a novel concept. It's like, okay, it's cheap stuff. It's this and this. Mm -mm, there, it, it's a little bit more to it than that. And this black, amber, and lavender. I'm not a fan of lavender. But the black, uh, amber in it, man, it just makes a little bit of, of darkness to it to go along with the sweetness, not too sweet. I don't get tons of lavender, that bite that it usually has. This The amber is really uh, uh, smoothed it out, sweetened it up a little bit. Really like that scent. I was pleasantly surprised. Eric said, I know you don't like lavender, but I'm sending it to you any, anyway. It's like, okay, I'm glad he did. All right, so now I wanna talk about the Cologne series. So you, you get a number, this was number 25. Uh, so I've got, like I said, 10 of them. You can see on, there's a drop down menu on the website. Uh, he also sent me a card here so you can see we've got stuff by Clive Christian, Armani, Tom Ford, Polo, uh, Paco Rabanne, uh, Bond Number no. 9, Creed, mm, Burberry, Chanel, uh, a lot of other stuff. But you can, you can see what they're supposed to be mimicked after. All right. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I'm just going to put up uh, over here on the side. I think I can do this is put up. Uh, here's kind of the order of the ones that I like from uh, uh, my favorite to my least favorite at the bottom. I'm just going to kind of go over them with you just a little bit. So we've got number 25 here, which is my favorite. And that's Polo Red Rush. Man, you get like. Uh, it's, it's more of, to me, like a modern take on a cologne. It's a little bit sweet. Uh, you get some definite citrus 
notes to it and maybe a little bit of woodsy on the end of it. I'm not going to go into super detail, uh, but I've, I've had several that have been like polo red, supposed to be mimics in the past. This one's polo red rush. Not really sure the difference, but that's my favorite. The, there's really only two towards the bottom that I don't really care for. The rest of them I like. Some of them I really like. These top three, four I really like. The other ones I like quite a bit. If I go through them all again, I'd probably have a slightly different order. But next up on my list is number 13, and that is a mimic of Versace Eros. I think I'm saying that right, Eros. And that one's a little less sweet, a little more old school, traditional. Uh, something you would wear to work uh, is what it smells like. To me, a nice work business kind of uh, cologne on that. Definitely, I think it almost got like a vetiver bite to it on it. Maybe a little bit of cedar, which you guys know I love. Next one is number 17, Creed Adventus. Um, and that one's a little tamer than the other ones. By the way, the scent strength on these, you definitely smell it out of the bottle. You smell it for a good little bit, but just the oil by itself to me doesn't last all day. Uh, it may be like four hours, get like half a day. Uh, I think you can get these in the butter and balms as well. So that will kind of keep things going a little bit more. Or maybe you just want to put in a little cologne, smell good at night on, on your beard butter and go on about, your, uh, you know, the rest of your evening. So it just kind of depends. Not super overpowering any of these, which is kind of good because I'm not traditionally, I don't like strong scents. And traditionally, before I started doing uh, beard content uh, for you guys, uh, I didn't really like colognes, hadn't worn them in 20 years. So it's just not been my thing. But now that I've, I've become a sucker for these things, these real gentlemanly scents. And the beard oil is not too overpowering. All right, so next up, I got uh, Tom Ford. Uh, number six is Lost Cherry. And as you can see, it's got a little, little pink uh, uh, tinge to that. And this one is more cherry tobacco. So this is a definitely more hearty, definitely a, a darker scent. Uh, if you like cherry tobacco kind of scents, that would be the one to get. Uh, next up, I got number five, which is Armani's Aqua Digio. And that one, I've had other ones, uh, beard oils that have been Aqua Digio, supposed to have it in it. And I thought it was supposed to be like super kind of watery, smell like the ocean. I don't really get that with this. I mean, I get a little bit. Not, not overly strong, but once again, this one's a nice one. I would say like a work kind of uh, cologne, if you will. It's kind of light and, and airy, but not super dark on that one. All right, uh, I'm doing the best I can on here. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you tried these colognes, if you tried the Brocast, the, the, uh, the cologne series, and how they match up and what you get from them. Uh, for other guys there in the chat, in the comments. Number 26 is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue and... Not too different than the Aqua Digio. To me, I definitely get some similarity. This one actually might smell a little bit more aquatic than the Aqua Digio to me. Uh, and then we've got, we're going totally dark on the next one. So we've got Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud. So all the Tom Ford ones that I have here are the super dark ones. So if you, you, you're not familiar with that at all and you like the darker kind of scents, uh, you check out the Tom Ford ones. Yeah, definitely tobacco, tobacco, tobacco with the oud and as the back note um, on that one, which I like tobacco scents. So we got the tobacco oud is 22, uh, and then the number six is the to cherry tobacco, if you will. All right, a few more here. 28 is bond number nine, Dubai Garnet. I don't know what that means. A little bit sweeter. A little bit more like oud inspired, if you will, that that really round kind of a, a smell to it uh, that, that I get for a oud. So no kind of traditional cologne bite is more smooth. Now, these last two, I don't really care for it. The rest of them, I like them. In some cases, I like them quite a bit. All right. But these last two here, number 11 is Creed's Royal Oud. Um, that one's got like a powdery sweet to it like a powdery oud I, i'm not into powdery scents. that was more of your powdery kind type of cologne and then number 12 is bond number nine's dubai gold i guess i just don't like the bond number nine stuff as much yeah that one is sweet and once again it's a little bit powdery um a little bit of some fruit in there but I'm not exactly sure what kind maybe fig or something like that is kind of what i get from it so there you go. There's my take on some of those. And once again, that's 10 out of like 27 uh, different ones to choose from. So check out Beard, uh, Brocast Beard Supply. Uh, let me know what your favorite colognes are. Do you have like an old school cologne that, that you want to try uh, in a beard oil? I think they've got like, did they have like stuff from the 90s? Did I see a Dracar Noir? I'm not sure if it was on here or not. Maybe it used to be. 
I don't know if I see that one or not. But anyway, lots of cool stuff to choose from. Let me know what your favorite co uh, cologne uh, was when you were a teenager. Were you an axe person? That's not really a cologne. That's more of a body spray. I don't see that over here. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.